So here is a neat little annual. This is a purple false foxglove. Um, Agalinus purpurea. They used to be in the family of the Gerardias. It used to be called Gerardia purpurea, but now they've separated apart. It is an annual, so it needs to have pollinator visited. Um, it's the host. It's it's almost unnoticeable most of the year because the leaves are so small, so thin. Um, it's the host plant for the buckeye, and it's amazing that the buckeye can even find enough to to feed on on these skinny little leaves. Here's some that's in bud that's about to bloom. Here are a couple that are still in bloom back here um, but again a beautiful beautiful plant that is an annual you don't notice it until it starts to bloom this time of year and then it just really stands out a great little plant this particular plant is usually pollinated by bumblebees it's got the nice uh, you know deep deep cup for them to come into there but it also is pollinated by some other bees too including some leaf cutters and whatnot but a great great little plant used to be called false uh, you know, purple per gerardia. Now it's called purple false foxglove. And again, it's no longer gerardia purpurea. It's not a, it's now agalinus purpurea. But a rose banding of the name is still just as sweet. Not that these have any real floral scent to them, but boy, do they stand out this time of year. An absolutely gorgeous little annual that we see in uh, in the really late summer, really really early fall, uh, in our uh, in especially uh, our moist meadows and so forth. False. Foxglove, this one is purple false foxglove.